It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Toiletries. Old witchers fast asleep. Series disappeared somewhere, of course. so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true. But he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. 
But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Ziri must understand that if she is to become one of us. I'll see you below. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike! You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Ha! Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morn. Find that helmet?
Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'll take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. <laughs> Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet. Soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. The trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I smell it. Ghouls. Stench.
armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. Of northern realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders, as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Whoa there, Rote! We going? Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Get up. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountain, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it.
Slow now. Whoa. of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Show me what you got behind the counter. not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now, the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Thanks. For everything. that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Here. Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockroach. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Running low on patience. Once it's gone, your heads will roll. 
Uh, we was jesting. No call for anger. See a raven-haired woman here, dressed in black and white? We know nothing, sir. Leave us be. There are four factions. Four? What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope, but it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. No thanks. Got some other things on my mind. Shame. I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. Ah, well. I'm here if you change your mind. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. 
What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. I oh, know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Yes? What is it, Wolf? See you later, Vesemir. Done drinking? Mm -hmm. Then fuck off! Don't want your kind here. Wouldn't want to stay long anyway. Maybe not. And maybe you'll just stay forever. Six feet under. Chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That's what I think. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. 
Just give me supplies and orders. The humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a ploughing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left. But I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in it, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. of piss and vodka. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Tracks lead back to the village. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. My grand told me about the smith. Don't you look at that when missing one day? This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Drowners, but he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Tracks lead back to the village. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Drowner claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I ought to talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some. What's left is yours. 
Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> Calm down. Now follow me. I gotta apologize. Gotta go. Apologize. Freak. Boy, the mom. Will you raise a glass with me? It's Durban now. Behave now. Up and at him. Hmm? What? What? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Not you. I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No, Willis. I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Harsh as punishment goes, but deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Dear, stick the bark off my trees again. Is it true? Northern women bathe for once every three years. Last time I blend out on it. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hut. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. Was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have eaten me, cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan. For protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I see he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, 
so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? A dawn. Another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Frying pan. Hmm. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Found the pan, have you? Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the North Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny. For the road. Fry up a nice white fish for Sonny. Faster. Roach. Place of power. Should draw from it. Monsters from the swamp, 
folk said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck, devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me, I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. Cart tracks. Rode off into the swamp. memory problems, or he's lying. Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. That's it, Roach. Oh, and you find the box?
Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. Gotta get him out of here. Wake up. See? Can't run from the truth. Not even on horseback. Now who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Girmer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live, and fight once more for a free North. Fine. Go. And may you and your soldier buddies hiding in the bushes be victorious in your struggle against Nilfgaard. You have a vile sense of humor. But you're a decent man. Here. The gold I promised. Use it well. Drink to the silver lilies. And to Faltest's memory. Let's go!
That's it, Roach.
faster. of power should draw from it.
Come on. Catch his breath!
Get it out. Let's go. Pop your melon and shit down your neck!
that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's, but I guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. Haven't had word of them since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses, and corpses feeding. Someone told me they were feared of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Poor shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, I'm guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me, keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Fine, I'll help you. Just... Been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. I would have thought. But I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. We'll look for Bastion later once it's safe.
Bastard. 